this is class 8th science and we are taking ncrt chapter 1 which is crop production and management crop production and management we will be taking question and answer on this first is select the correct word from the following list and fill in the blanks the same kind of plant grown and cultivated on a large scale at a place is called uh, crop the first uh, the this is the crop the first step before growing crops is dash of the soil preparation of the soil damage seed would dash on top of water will float on top of water for growing a crop sufficient sunlight and dash and dash from the soil are essential so water and nutrients so these are the answers this is the answer for you uh, fill in the blanks match items this is column a this is column b so kharif kharif crops rabi crops chemical fertilizers these are chemical fertilizers these are uh, organic manure so we have these uh, the matching so kharif crops are paddy and maize rabi crops are wheat gram p chemical fertilizers are urea and superphosphate organic manure animal excreta cow dung urine and plant waste we have just seen in the previous question now we can answer it uh, very comfortably give two examples of each kharif and rabi kharif is paddy maize soya bean groundnut cotton and rabi is wheat gram pea mustard write a paragraph in your own words on each of the following preparation of soil sowing weeding threshing first we'll start with preparation the preparation is very important this is the first step before we grow a crop uh, there, you know we have soil so we need to turn the soil and then loosen it why because this allow the if we have a plant like this so the roots can penetrate deep into the soil the loosened soil also helps in the growth of earthworms and microbes which are our friend that is farmers friend and they add humus to it apart from this this turning and loosening of soil it brings the nutrient uh, nutrient rich soil to the top right and the plants can be uh, can be using these nutrients then sowing sowing is again the uh, one of the most important part of crop production before sowing we need to select quality seeds good quality seeds uh, they are which are clean healthy seeds of good variety and they can be done or they can be drilled or seed drill or manually they can be done weeding now what happens this is your crop and when your crop grows and this is a natural phenomena that other this soil the other plants will also grow and this is just natural we don't say that they are unwanted but they are unwanted for us because they are using the nutrients of these plants which we actually want to go so weeds are unwanted plants that grow along the crop and removal of weed is known as weeding you can do it manually you can use khurpi or you can use weedy sites like 2 4 d now threshing we have uh, we are interested in grains because we eat grains so the separation of grain from the chaff is called threshing and this again can be combined with uh, you know we have harvester thresher they all do right now uh, today we have machines which can go in the crop they can you know uh, you can work on the crop also and at the same time you can get the grains also explain how fertilizers are different from manure let us see one by one the fertilizer is an inorganic solvent while manure is natural sub substance which is obtained by decomposition of your cattle dung, human waste, excreta, and plant residues. Then the fertilizer is prepared in factories, and and the manure mostly they are prepared in fields. Nowadays they are prepared in factories, but uh, mostly they are prepared in fields. The fertilizers do not provide any humus to the soil, but manure does provide humus to the soil and a lot of humus. I, I must say. Fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and the manure are relatively less richer uh, in plant 
nutrients if you compare it with the fertilizers. What is irrigation? Irrigation, you know, for any existence, water, air, they are the they are the basic needs. Describe two irrigation uh, methods or and which conserve water. So the supply of water to crops at different interval is called irrigation. There are two methods along with conserving of or conservation of water. Sprinkler method. What happens if this is your area? Then you put there is a pipe and you put a sprinkler here. So this sprinkler, uh, when the when this moves, you know when the pressure comes, it moves. It moves like this every time. So the water goes on every side rather than going or, or assimilating or you know going only on one side or, or standing there. This is the sprinkler system. It is just uh, an idea to imitate what crop will get in rain. So the rain, so it is imitating the rain. Drip system is also there. At the position of the root, the water falls drop by drop. So this is the best technique for watering fruit plants, gardens and tree. So water is not at all wasted and water where, it, where there is a scarcity of water, drip system is the best. If wheat is sown in the Kharif season, what would happen? See, the, the reason is not, the season is not uh, suitable for Kharif. So the reason Kharif will not be able to grow. So wheat is a rubby crop, it is not a Kharif uh, crop. So it requires a uh, core climatic condition to be grown properly. If it is sown in the Kharif season, because you know, excessive rain is there, it is not going to survive, it will not grow. Some you know, little bit you will see, but the proper growth will not be there. Explain how soil gets affected by the continuous plantation of crops in a field. Soil, this is soil, it gives us the nutrients, it gives us everything. But how this soil is going to produce it? Once it is depleted, because we grow plant and plant will be taking all the nutrients. These nutrients are essential for the growth of plant. So continuous growing of crops in the same field makes the soil poorer in this in the nutrients, certain nutrients, because that plant will be taking that nutrients. So this makes the soil infertile. So you need to replenish it. To replenish it, the soil with nutrients, farmer need to add some manures to the soil, or he can also go for fertilizers. What are weeds? How can we control them? Weeds are the unwanted plant that go grow along with these are the weeds. They grow along with your basic crop. And there are various ways to remove or to get rid of these weeds. You can just uproot them by using kurpi or you can use the chemicals like 2,4-D VD sites. Arrange the following boxes in proper order to make a flowchart of sugarcane crop production. So first will be what? First will be preparation of soil, then uh, plowing of the field, then sowing, manure, manuring, then uh, irrigation, harvesting and sending crop to the sugar factory. Let us see the formal way. First is the preparation of soil, then plowing the field, then sowing, then manuring, then uh, irrigation, then harvesting, then sending crop to sugar factory. Complete the following word puzzle with the help of clues given. First, this one. Providing water to the crops. It starts from I, so it should be irrigation. Then we have keeping crop grains for a longer time under proper condition. This S means storage. Certain plants of the same kind grown on a large scale. So this is fifth. So this one is fifth. So this is crop. Next, across this one. This is down and this is across. This is across. So H. A machine used for cutting the mature crops, so harvester. A ruby crop that is also one of the pulses, you can see gram because it starts from G and this process of separating the grain from chaff. Is it winnowing? Yes, it's winnowing. So irrigation storage crop down and harvester gram winnowing. So this is all about this chapter. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.